How's it going? My name is Robert. I'm the wellness associate here at uh, Mental Health Centers of America. So in the wellness therapeutics area, uh, you'll start out by seeing our hyperbaric oxygenation chamber. Moving along, you'll see our infrared sauna and our antioxidant room, which consists of red light therapy and hydrogen therapy. And then finally, we have our cold plunge and our uh, cryotherapy tank. The wellness therapeutics are here in a support of nature to the mental health aspect uh, for what we do here. Um, basically, after a patient receives an assessment, if the doctor deems it necessary for them to get some of our wellness therapeutics, they would come see me and then we would go off their plan. So if someone were to use our hyperbaric oxygenation chamber, uh, that would be beneficial for increasing oxygen delivery to the tissues of your body. So for our body to heal, it needs oxygenated blood and the hyperbaric chamber increases atmospheric pressure and oxygen concentration around somebody, which diffuses oxygen through the body. It's great for things like wound healing, patients who have diabetes, any type of brain injury like a TBI or a concussion. There have been a lot of studies showing that's beneficial for that. So cryotherapy is going to be good for anti-inflammatory process throughout the body. Super cooling the tissue allows the blood vessels to constrict and allows you to get better circulation. Cold plunge is a similar process to cryotherapy by increasing the amount of norepinephrine uh, that your body's producing, stimulates your body's production of endorphins to reduce inflammation and make you feel good. Red light therapy increases your body's production of, of adenosine triphosphate. ATP is what our body uses for energy. The more energy you have, the better your body functions. The infrared sauna is about seven times more effective than a traditional hot sauna or steam room. By increasing your circulation and dilating your blood vessels, you sweat and detox the body from impurities. When patients feel amazing. I personally use these treatments all the time and all of these treatments invoke something called hermetic stress, which is considered good stress. So there's two types that our bodies are exposed to, bad stress and good stress. Here we try to eliminate as much bad stress as possible and increase as much good stress as possible.